my friends, it's Naz Perez, and welcome to the Rotten Tomatoes Binge Guide. Today we're bringing you five very bingeable titles based on the hit Apple TV Plus show, Severance, one of my ultimate favorites. Now this sci-fi mystery drama stars Adam Scott as an employee who agrees to have his non-work memory separated from his work memories. If only we could do that in real life. I'm just kidding, I love working here. It was created by Dan Erickson, marking his first major Hollywood project, with Ben Siller serving as an executive producer and also director of six of the first nine episodes. And I really do love working here. <laughs> Severance, which was influenced by things like the urban legend known as the Backrooms and the film The Truman Show, was nominated for 14 Emmy Awards in 2022, including outstanding drama series and outstanding lead actor in a drama for Adam. Now, it took Stiller and company nearly five years to go from a script that he loved to a hit show on Apple, and now it was renewed for a second season. You gotta love it. Why did you lie about the number of people in your department? Because we don't trust you guys. You, the king of don't trust us. I do, but people just talk about MDR, stupid old stories, jokes even. What do you mean? I, it's literally silly. Like they say, you all have pouches. Pouches? Like to carry young? Yes. So while we wait for that, here are five other shows you can totally binge if you love Severance on today's Binge Guide. Starting with our brand new pick, Kindred. Now this FX miniseries arrived in December of 2022 and quickly became fresh with critics and a hit with viewers. Adapted from award-winning author Octavia E. Butler's celebrated novel of the same name, Kindred stars Mallory Johnson as a young black woman and aspiring writer who relocates to LA in search of a bright new future. But before she can get too comfortable, she finds herself being pulled back and forth in time and ends up at a 19th century plantation with intimate ties to her own family's history. Now, with a fresh tomato meter score around 62%, critics have had plenty to say about this adaptation during its short time with us. Like Quincy Ligardi from AV Club, who called the series, quote, a compelling, thought-provoking scenario in a well-written and expertly directed package. Now, the novel was also adapted as a graphic novel back in 2017, if you're into that sort of thing. But if you're more into sitting on your couch like me and not moving for long periods of time like me, it'll take you eight hours to binge this one. So I guess you're welcome. How long was I gone? Less than a minute, not, not even seconds. It felt like I was gone for an hour. I know how this sounds. Am I crazy? Surprise. You're not crazy. Whatever this is, it's real. Next up, our certified fresh pick this week is Legion. Now, this sci-fi drama from FX ran for three straight certified fresh seasons from 2017 to 2019. The show is set in an alternate timeline of the X-Men film series and was co-produced by Marvel. It's about a diagnosed schizophrenic played by Dan Stevens who discovers special powers that he has to learn how to control and live with, all while evading a government agency. Legion was created by Noah Hawley, the man behind the Fargo series on FX, and the cast also includes names like Gene Smart and our girl Aubrey Plaza from White Lotus season two, who earned a MTV Movie and TV Award nomination for Best Villain for this show. The critics' consensus calls Legion, quote, a singularly piece of visually arresting, mind-bending television that never fails to surprise. With Polygon's Tasha Robinson adding, quote, it's weird and often unsettling and nightmarish, but it's also pretty mesmerizing. Now, you can binge all three seasons in around 27 hours, and when you do, keep an ear out for the heavy influence of Pink Floyd used by Noah Hawley throughout. I think Sid's in trouble. We need to split up now. Carrie and I will look for Sid. Melly, you and Paul find Fukuyama. Oh, what if we see the monk? Ask him what he wants. Just don't get too close. You should be immune now, but... We are? Yeah, I did a little thing before we left. You did a thing in my head? Just don't get too close. What about the cow? Leave it here. I don't think I want a cow in my lap. Guys, I don't care. I gotta find Sid. Let's check the pedestal first. Next up is our throwback pick, Logan's Run. Now, from the same people behind Charlie's Angels, this action series was released in the fall of 1977 on CBS and is based on the 1976 film of the same name, which in turn was based off the Logan's Run novel from 1967. 
In this series, Gregory Harrison stars as Logan, a 26-year-old police assassin living in a totalitarian future where no one is permitted to live beyond age 30. When he begins to question the lethal nature of his work, he goes on the run in search of an idyllic place where people can actually live once again in peace and gasp into their 40s. Now, the series differs from the plot of the movie in a few ways, the biggest of which is the inclusion of an android called Rem who assists the show's main protagonist throughout and who did not appear in the film. Logan's run had a few of the same writers as the original Star Trek series that was popular at the time. But what it didn't have, and Star Trek did, was a big budget for effects, which is why some feel this series was canceled after its 14-episode first season. Critic Joan Irwin from the Montreal Gazette wrote about the series in 2021, saying that it has a lightness and a lack of solemnity that is appealing, calling it, quote, the kind of innocent adventure that may have wide appeal for young viewers. Logan's Run picked up a Saturn Award nomination back in 2013 for Best Blu-ray Television Release. And while it wasn't around quite long enough to have its own toy line produced, although prototypes were made, it is just the right length for a good solid binge weekend at just under 14 hours for the whole thing. Boom. So you're Logan and Jessica. We've been expecting you. I'm Joanna, and this is The Protector. Karen told us that you rule Sanctuary? That's an overstatement. Here, <laughs> each man rules himself. Well, from all that we've seen, everything's so beautiful here. That was done so that the runners who came here would feel more at home. Are they happy? Oh, yes. Each is free to live in the manner that suits him best. You have no idea how much this means to us. And staying calm as our under-the-radar pick this week is Maniac. This Netflix miniseries probably wasn't really under the radar radar when it dropped in 2018, but may have slipped from public awareness since then, so allow us to remind you about it. Very loosely based on a 2015 Norwegian series of the same name, this one is from The Leftovers writer Patrick Somerville and popular director Kerry Joji Fukunaga. It stars Emma Stone and Jonah Hill, along with others like Justin Throw, Sally Field, and Ozark's Julia Garner in supporting roles. Now set in a retro future New York City, it honestly looks so cool. Maniac follows a group of strangers who are drawn to a mysterious pharmaceutical trial that promises to fix all of their problems, but doesn't quite go as planned. Now this certified fresh miniseries picked up quite a few award nominations, including SAG and Satellite Award noms for Emma Stone's performance. And along with viewers and award nominations, the show was a hit with critics too. Lauren Carroll Harris from The Guardian said, quote, Maniac actually has something profound to say about the alienation of people today. While the overall critics consensus says that this series, quote, enthralls with its dazzling visuals, adventurous narrative, and striking performances from both Stone and Hill. Now, six and a half hours is all you need to binge this Netflix miniseries, which when you take out trips to the bathroom and being on TikTok is like a solid work day. Am I right? You found it just now. And just call the cops and clear this whole thing? No, Bruce, I can't call the cops. This is an illegal lemur. If they take her, they're going to ship her back to Madagascar. Plus, Nan told me that it had to be me. Only me. She was very specific on that point. I just... Uh... You gotta break into that store. And finally, for our editor's pick this week, they have selected Counterpart. Now, this star show is two 100% certified fresh seasons and was created by Justin Marks, best known for writing Disney's live-action remake of The Jungle Book. This series features a dual performance from Oscar winner J.K. Simmons playing characters from parallel dimensions in Cold War-era Berlin. Now, once he discovers a multidimensional secret, he's immersed in a mysterious world of espionage and government conspiracies. Heaping praise on the fantastic work from Simmons was a common theme from critics, like the Sydney Morning Herald's Brad Newsom, who said that J.K. quote, delivers two spellbinding performances. And the overall critics' consensus calls Counterpart, quote, an absorbing thrill fest, which finds time to deliver relevant societal critiques. After stars opted out of doing more episodes, the producers shopped it elsewhere in hopes of a lifeline, but that never came, ending its run after two seasons and 20 episodes. It'll take you right around 20 hours to binge this one, and that should also be enough time to figure out if you want to meet your counterpart from another dimension. I came because I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing. And, and then I saw what he had, and I just... I am not him. I know, Howard.
Well, my friends, there you have it. Five shows that you can binge right now if you are having severance withdrawals like me. I know how those can be. They are just not good. But like I said, Severance Season 2 will be coming, but hopefully we piqued your interest on a couple other similar options in the meantime. And by the way, if you're looking to find more great shows for binging purposes, be sure to grab a copy of our book, Ultimate Binge Guide. It is full of special lists that feature some of the best shows of all time. And as always, don't forget to find us again for more selections based on the shows and movies that you love. It is all right here on the Rotten Tomatoes Binge Guide. I'm Naz Perez, and I'll see you guys next time.